Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe. Let's take a look at Adobe Muse CC 2015 and take a look at what's new for in-browser editing and allowing your clients to make changes to their website on their own. So I have uh, Ike's Bikes here, a sample website that we're going to be using for the 2015 release. And um, I've gone ahead and uploaded this site via FTP to my own hosting. All right, now that I've done that, I want the client to be able to go in and be able to make changes. So I would just simply have the client go to, here, let's go to in browser editing.adobe.com. And once they're there, they would simply put in the URL to their site. So um, if they have their own domain, which I do, terrywhite.com, and we're going to call this one demo Ike's Bikes. Once there, it will prompt them to put in their username and password. So this will be their FTP username and password that you assign to them or the one you're using. Once signed in, they see their site, basically the way it looks on the web. And from there, they can go in and make any changes. Now, the changes that they make are either text changes or changing individual images. They can navigate between the different layouts, such as desktop, phone, and tablet. They can navigate the pages just like they normally would on the site. So on the about page is where I need to make a change. Um, I can of course hover over any text and make any changes. If there's an image uh, simply sitting there by itself, I can go ahead and make changes to images as well. Um, but in this particular one, there is something new, uh, or not new that we had this in Muse, but new that the in-browser editing user can make changes to it, and that's a link. Uh, they can make a change to the text, as they always did, but now if they hover over the link, they can see where the link goes, and they can also edit the link. That's what's new. So if they choose edit the link, or edit link, they can nav they can uh, have the link navigate to one of the existing pages in the site in any of the layouts. They can also have it go to an external page, which it already does. They can have it go to a phone number, um, if it was like on a mobile site and they want to be able to tap and dial a number. They can have it download a file. This is pretty cool because let's say it's something like a menu and the client's constantly updating the menu and making a new PDF. They can upload their own PDF and make changes to that link. Uh, or, of course, it can be an email link. But let's keep it on external. And let's say that we wanted to go, instead of to adobe.com, we wanted to go to facebook.com. I don't know if Ike's Bikes exist on fa Facebook, but we're going to make it go to Ike's Bikes. And uh, we can even put in a tooltip, Facebook page. And we can also have it open in a new window. So once we update that link, that will be the new link that's there. And if we publish the site, We've made that change live on the web, or the client has. So now, in addition to making text and image changes for in-browser editing users, they can also make changes to hyperlinks. That's one of the new things in Adobe Muse CC for 2015. Check it out.